Hi pole friends, today we're going to be focusing on specifically strengthening our core. So if you're ready for effortless inverts, then let's get started. We're going to start first with a short warm up designed to get your core activated and get that heart rate up. So we're going to begin on our back. Feet planted just where you can reach your fingers and we're just going to start nice and simple first. So what I want you to do is just a few arching your back and then we're gonna try and round it the other way. So I'm creating these arches and these rounds with my pelvis, just simply by tucking and then rotating it out the other way. Now what I want you to do is find your halfway point. So halfway between that arch and that round. So we're in our nice neutral spine. Keeping that tummy muscle tucked in, we're just gonna gently lower that right knee out to the side Big exhale, bring it back into the center. And then we're gonna repeat now with our left leg. So lowering your left knee out to the side, big exhale as we return that knee back to the center. Now you only wanna open your knee as far as you can without your pelvis falling with you. So if your pelvis is falling with you, then we've opened that knee too far for what our core can currently handle. So focus on keeping that pelvis nice and steady. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as that knee returns back up to the center. Now, as we're doing this, we're thinking about switching on our core. So you really wanna think about tucking your tummy in or drawing your belly button in towards your spine. We're just gonna repeat this one more time each leg. So one more on the right, inhale as you lower, exhale as we bring it back up, and then one more time on the left. From there, what I'm gonna get you to do next is lift your right knee up to 90 degrees. We're then, without arching our back away from the floor, we're gonna lift that left knee up to follow. From there, we're gonna place hands on the fronts of your thighs, and we're gonna create a bit of resistance. So you're gonna press those hands into the legs, again, creating some resistance. And as we're doing this, now I want you to press that spine as flat to the floor as possible. So you pretty much couldn't fit your fingers between your lower back and the floor. And we're just gonna hold here just for a few moments longer. Again, creating that tension. So hands pressing into your legs. This in itself is a pretty good exercise to practice and you should already feel that core or that tension through the core. From here, I'm gonna get you to keep the tension between your left hand and your left leg. And we're just gently gonna extend our right leg out long. Big exhale to bring it back in from there. Again, inhale as we kick that leg out. Exhale as we bring it back in. Now we're aiming for 12 of these. As this leg kicks out long, I want you to make sure that you don't arch away from the floor. Maintain that nice flat spine. So we can't fit our fingers between our lower back and the floor. Again, inhale as we extend. Exhale as you bring it back in. Now, if you are starting to get any lower back pain or you are struggling to keep that spine flat to the floor, we can do this one with one leg on the floor. That should take a lot of pressure off that lower back while we learn to activate and strengthen that core. But if you can, holding that leg up just as we complete our last few final reps. And on number 12, we're gonna challenge ourselves. So I'm gonna get you to hold that leg out as long and low as you can. Really try and minimize all micro bends through that thigh. So squeeze and tense that quad or that thigh muscle as hard as you can. Pressing that lower back into the floor. So make sure you haven't arched away and just keeping a bit of tension between your left hand and your left leg. Again, if you need, we can do this hold with left leg on the floor. Now we're gonna take a nice big exhale and pull that leg back into 90 degrees. Let's swap sides. So changing hands now, we're keeping the tension between our right hand and our right leg. Keeping that spine nice and flat to the floor. We're gonna extend, inhale as we kick that left leg out, exhale as we bring it back in. Again, we're aiming for 12, trying to maintain that nice flat spine to the floor. So we don't wanna arching away. And we're gonna maintain a slow, steady pace. Core stuff, it's usually better to keep the pace quite slow than to try and rush from A to B as quick as we can. Again, inhale as you extend, exhale as that leg comes back in. Just all the way through the movement, just maintaining that flat spine.
Once we've reached number 12, we're all gonna hold. So just holding that leg out nice and long and low. Tension down that left thigh, pressing that spine as flat to the floor as we can, really drawing that tummy muscle in. And we're gonna keep holding. Again, if you need, we can place that right leg down on the floor. If you can, I want us to try and hold it up, keeping that tension between right hand and right leg. Big exhale, and we'll pull that leg back into the center. Placing both feet back down on the floor, we're just gonna do one more exercise to warm up. So I'm gonna get you to roll around onto your stomach, and we're gonna come into a plank position. So for your plank, you've got two options. If you can, I want you to try and hold this up on your toes, like so. so Make sure that your shoulders are aligned directly on top of your elbow and your head. We wanna try and draw that back in line with your spine. Try not to let, just let it hang there. Think triple chin. Triple chins are sexy. Now from there, also make sure that that lower back is not arched. We're gonna try and make sure that we're tucking that tailbone around. So unfortunately, we can't think too sexy with the butt. We gotta think, unfortunately, a little bit uglier and just tuck that pelvis away. Now, as we're sitting in this plank, I don't want you to just sit here. We've actually got to tense some things. So I'm gonna get you to squeeze your thighs nice and straight. We're also gonna think about squeezing our booty and tucking that tummy in. Now, if you're really struggling to hold that flat spine or you're feeling any lower back pain, we can simply do this with those knees down on the floor. But if you can, we're gonna maintain those nice straight knees and we're gonna keep holding here for a minute. As we exhale, just focus on just drawing that tummy muscle in even more. Or we should really feel those abs working harder on our exhale. Keep pushing up through those shoulders. Make sure we haven't sunk through our shoulder blades. Again, squeezing those thighs straight. Make sure we haven't lost that tension. Drawing that tummy muscle in, keeping that head back in line with your spine. Today's workout is gonna include two circuits. Circuit number one is gonna be made up of three exercises that we're gonna do for two rounds. Each exercise is gonna last for one minute. Let's begin. We're gonna begin first on our back. Positioning your back as flat to the floor as we can, making sure tummy is tucked in. We're gonna begin with our feet up at 90 degrees. From here, we're gonna come up into a reverse crunch. So palms facing the roof, shoulders pulling down away from those ears. We're then gonna to proceed to lift the butt and lower back down. Again, we're gonna lift the butt and lower back down. And we're gonna maintain this movement for one minute. Now it's really important as we lift up into this reverse crunch that we don't flick up with momentum. So what we don't wanna see is flicking those legs over to try and get those hips up off the floor. Instead, exhale, keep those knees bent at 90 as we lift and gently lower those hips back down. Maintaining control through this movement is key. This exercise is a great one for all your inverts. Getting ready to move on. Now, keeping your feet at 90 degrees, I want you to place one hand on top of the other. We're gonna crunch through the knees, extend the legs, and lower back down, repeating the movement. Again, crunching up as high as we can. Extend, squeeze those thighs as straight as you can, and lowering back down to the floor. Big exhale as we lift up into the crunch. Inhaling as we lower and working those thigh muscles just as hard as that core. Try aim for lots of height with this one. So we're really getting that full range of motion in this crunch and just watching that we've got our head positioned correctly. 
So what we don't wanna see is crunching from the neck this way. That's only pulling on the back of my neck. Instead, triple chin, head back in line with your spine as we crunch, crunching from the stomach, extend, and then lowering back down. Moving on, we're now gonna come into one of my favorites. So feet are gonna be positioned back at 90 degrees. We're gonna kick those legs out nice and straight, exhale to bring them back in, fingers at those temples, lifting up into a crunch. So again, kicking those legs out long, making sure that spine stays super flat to the floor, then lifting up into the crunch. Now, if you're struggling to keep that spine really flat to the floor, we've got two options to regress. So we can try for a knees bent, lowering from the hips, then coming up into the crunch, or we can even change this one single-sided, being the easiest variation. Whichever variation we're going for, just make sure that there's no lower back pain and we feel this one directly through the core. Keep these movements nice and slow, don't rush through them, and make sure the crunch and the leg movement have two separate movements. All right, let's repeat again. So palms up to the roof, shoulders pulling down. We're gonna lift up into our reverse crunch and slowly lower back down. Ooh, those abs are starting to burn now. But round number two. Big exhale as we lift up into this one. Again, watching you don't start to use momentum as we start to get a little bit more tired. We're nearly there. Moving on now to the crunch with the leg extension. One hand on top of the other, we're gonna crunch through the legs, extend, squeeze those thighs super straight, bend, and then lowering back down to the floor. Remember with this one, we're trying to maintain that triple chin position. So I'm not looking down with my neck. I'm not looking up. I am just tucking my chin back. A nice sexy triple chin. Again, keeping tummy tucked in. So core is switched on the entire time. And last exercise for circuit number one. We're gonna kick those legs out long. Big exhale as we bring them back in and then exhale as we lift up into our crunch. Again, we can go for more of a hip hinge, our middle option, or we can bring it right down to single side. And so kicking one out long, kicking the other, and then bringing it up into that crunch. Whichever option, just make sure that you feel it through the core and not through that lower back. If you're feeling that lower back, you'll find that you're just arching away from the floor. Remember, we don't wanna arch. We're gonna maintain that nice flat spine. So make sure that you can't fit your fingers between, the low, between your lower back and the floor. I wanna exhale as you come up into your crunch and you also wanna exhale as those legs come back in towards you. Keep this one slow, keep this controlled. We're nearly through this minute. Well done, we've completed circuit number one. Take 30 seconds to have a quick drink and then we'll move on to circuit number two. Circuit number two includes two rounds of three exercises. Each exercise we're gonna complete for one minute. Let's get started. We're gonna begin our first exercise lying on our back. Bring your hands to the side of your head. From there, we're gonna take a big exhale, lift it up into your crunch. Straighten that left hand out nice and straight. You're gonna pulse it four times. Joining your hands together, we're gonna to pulse sideways into our crunch four times. 
Then we're gonna lower back down, repeat on the other side. Exhale, lift, right hand goes down, pulse it four times. Hands join together, pulse sideways into our crunch, four times. Lowering down, let's repeat on the other side. Exhale, lift, left hand down, pulse for three, two, one. Hands together, pulse for three, two, one. Lowering down, ready for the other side. Exhale, lift, right hand down, pulse, two, three, four. Hands together, pulse side, two, three, four. And repeat, fingers at those temples, big exhale, lift, pulse, and side. All right, we got one more on the other side. Exhale, lift, pulse, and then pulse sideways. All right, moving on. We're gonna bring those feet up to 90 degrees, hands above those head. Now I'm gonna get you to try and challenge yourself, lift it up into a crunch. We're gonna alternate each leg kicking out long. So extend, exhale, bring it back in, alternating to our other side. This one's also really good for that coordination. Now, if you're finding this quite challenging to do in that crunch position, we can simply do this with our head resting on the floor. But if you can, challenging yourself, keeping up in that crunch position as we extend, exhale, bring it back in. Now, the key here is to maintain that nice flat spine to the floor. And a big exhale as we bring those legs back into the center. Moving on to exercise number three. I'm gonna get you to bring your feet up to the 90 degree spot, and we're gonna straighten those legs up as straight as we can. So minimizing all your micro bends by squeezing these thighs. Spine's nice and flat to the floor, and we're gonna draw some circles. Just nice and small. They can be pretty non-existent circles. Just making sure that we're keeping tummy tucked in that entire time and trying to hold that pelvis as steady as possible and making sure that you can't fit your fingers between your spine and the floor. And if you need to as well, we can change to doing this one single-sided, but if you can, I wanna maintain both legs up. Halfway through this minute, we're gonna change directions or we're gonna change legs if you're going single-sided. All right, let's change directions. Squeezing those knees as straight as we can, keeping that tummy muscle nice and tucked in. And don't forget, squeeze those thighs. Now for the breathing, I'm inhaling as I'm leaving, exhaling as those legs come back in towards me through that circle. All right, let's restart again. So starting with exercise number one, we're gonna bring our fingers to the side of our head. We're gonna take a big exhale, left hand's gonna go down. You're gonna pulse it four times. Join those hands together. We're gonna pulse sideways into our crunch four times and then alternating directions. Exhale, lift, right hand goes down. We're gonna pulse, join sideways and pulse. And then repeating again on the other side. Big exhale as we lift, maintaining that triple chin position. Then joining those hands for our sideways pulse. And repeating again on the other side. Try and really get as high as you can into this crunch. Trying to really aim for that full range of motion. We're gonna go for one more each way before moving on. And releasing back down to the floor. All right, second last exercise. We're gonna bring those feet up to the 90 degree spot. Hands straight up above your head. We're gonna lift it up into our crunch position. Alternating each side, we're gonna reach out opposite arm and leg. Exhale as we return them back into the center. Other side, reaching out long, 
Big inhale, big exhale as we bring those legs back in. Now remember the most important thing here is to maintain that nice flat spine to the floor so that you couldn't fit those hands between that lower back and the floor. Again, inhale as we extend, exhale as everything comes back into the center. Now, if you're really struggling to hold that crunched position, just simply rest that head down on the floor. Moving on to our final exercise, the corkscrew. So we're gonna bring those feet up to 90 degrees. I want you to straighten those legs as straight as you can so we have no micro bends. We're gonna start those circles, whether we're going double leg or we're going single leg. Main thing is that we're maintaining those straight knees. We're keeping that spine as flat to the floor as possible. So we couldn't fit our fingers between that lower back and the floor. And we're focusing on drawing that tummy muscle in. Now inhale as the legs leave, exhale as they come back in towards you. Now you can challenge yourself and make these circles quite big, but to be honest, just small, pretty much non-existent looking circles will work that core pretty hard. Again, inhale as you leave, exhale as those feet come back in towards you. Let's change directions if you double leg or change legs if you're doing singles. Again, inhaling as you leave, exhale as you're coming back in, making sure that we're tucking that tummy muscle in the entire time. And don't forget, squeeze those knees. No micro bends allowed. Congratulations on completing circuit number two. Now it's really important that we stay strong on all four sides of our core. So we're gonna to finish today's workout off with some back extensions, just to strengthen the other side of our core now. So I'm gonna get you to face the floor and we're gonna face those palms down. Now I want you to keep your hands up off the floor the entire time. And again, palms facing the floor. Make sure your neck is relaxed, so shoulders are pulling down. And we're gonna watch with this one that we don't just flick the head up. Instead, squeeze your booty. We're gonna try and think about lifting from the butt and lowering back down. So it's a big exhale as you lift and lower back down from there. We're only aiming for 12 today. Lifting up for number seven, big exhale and lowering down. Make sure you maintain core switched on. So tummy tucking in. Last one for today, we're gonna hold, pulling those shoulders down, squeeze your booty nice and tight, just hold just for that little bit longer. Make sure that head is looking down at the floor, not straight ahead. And then lowering down. Just place your hands to the side of your chest or the side of your face, um, if, this, if the chest is a little bit too intense. And we're just gonna roll it up each individual vertebrae. Make sure you're pulling those shoulders down away from your ears. And we're just gonna give those abs a little stretched. They worked hard for us. Take a few deep breaths. Lowering it back down to the floor. And now we're just gonna do one more stretch. So we're just gonna literally reverse what we did. So I want you to think knees nice and open for this one as we bring the butt back to those heels and stretch those arms out as straight as we can. Take a few deep breaths.
congratulations on completing today's workout. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, please like the video, subscribe to my channel so I can keep bringing out some more content for you all. Thanks.